It's a good day. And it's a cool day. Mabuhay. Hi everyone, this is Father Sad Prenebras SVD here to share with you once again the word in other words. Tara na, reflect tayo. Kapatid, minsan ba sa buhay mo naranasan mo na yung kamatayan? And I'm not talking about death in the sense that uh, we experience, go through that experience of losing a loved one. Neither am I talking about the kind of death that refers to one's own near-death experience or yung muntik ng mapuruhan. But I'm talking about the kind of death that perhaps all of us has uh, gone through or all of us would need to go through. The kind of death that would refer to a dark experience in one's life, a huge trial in one's life, wherein one is truly tested in terms of one's faith, in terms of one's relationships, and of course, in terms of a lot of many aspects of one's very life. So, going through the dark tunnel, yun nga yung sinasabi natin, di ba? Na parang experience o parang mamamatay ka na. So, that experience of nothingness, that experience of being separated from your loved ones, that experience of being separated from opportunities, from uh, the many gifts that this life has to offer. Yung experience na nade-depress ka na o nakaka-depress, hindi yung siguro clinically depressed, pero yung experience na sobrang down na down ka sa buhay mo. A figurative kind of death. So many years ago, I had an opportunity to talk to a dear friend who was very close to me. The family was really close to me. And uh, the wife lovingly asked me to uh, talk to uh, her beloved husband who was going through a lot in his life. And the husband was literally emerged in so many, so many, so many dark experiences in life. You know? And he was uh, totally separated from everyone, his friends. And uh, you know, pinigtsatsagaan na lang siya ng pamilya niya. No? Dahil sobra-sobra na yung mga nangyayari at nagagawa niyang mali. So the guy was literally trying to kill himself because he was engaged in all the vices. And he was engaged in gambling, drugs, name it, halos ginagawa niya na lahat. So what was happening? And alam mo, sa lahat ng yun, kinausap ko siya, nakinig lang ako sa kanyang kwento. At uh, hindi ko alam kung paano itong taong ito ay makakabangon pa sa lahat ng mga ginagawa niya. And you know, the family was already at the verge, no? At uh, it, that was the last uh, straw, no? Na para ito na yung huling, ito na yung huling uh, gagawin natin na pagkakataon para ma-redeem itong taong ito, para ma-resuscitate. Kumbaga, 'di ba, pagka may pasyente papasok na ng ospital, isi CPR lahat. Ito na, ito na yung moment na yun. And I was there simply trying to listen to this man, trying to find out, no, what was really happening to him. To cut the story short, it became a very difficult uh, conversation. It became a very difficult encounter with that uh, dear friend. And personally, I never thought or even um, contemplated how he would even rise up from that experience. Di ko alam kung paano itong taon makakabangon pa. Pero alam nyo po, after some years, nagkita kaming muli and the wife was so happy and she was telling me, no, Father, thank you so much for that moment when you were guiding my husband to go through that dark moment in his life. And you know, I asked myself, ano bang ginawa ko? Wala naman akong ginawa. Pero I know for a fact that it was the prayer of this loving wife who never gave up on her husband, although she was at the verge of doing so. Pero, you know, after all, she never gave up. And then this little girl, this child, no, who became the reason for this man to start thinking things over. No? Para pag-isipang muli, ano ba tong ginagawa ko sa buhay ko? And that became his moment and reason for redemption. Doon niya napagtanto na kailangan niya muling bumangon, na kailangan niya lagpasan yung karanasang ito ng kamatayan sa buhay niya. Ikaw kapatid, dumaan ka na rin ba sa ganitong uri ng kamatayan? So my dear friends, if we will look at the readings this weekend, the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the readings point out to some beautiful reminders that we could make use of as or draw upon some beautiful inspirations in our day-to-day -day life as we go through 
our struggles. So number one, God does not desire death. Hindi hinihiling o hinahangad ng Diyos ang kamatayan ng isang tao. The Book of Wisdom in our first reading today talks about how God desires for all of His creation to enter its fullness, you know, to always be along the path that God has created, you know, for us to be always closer to Him. And yet, it is only our selfish desires that lead us to death because God only desires life for us. Kung may hinihiling man ang Diyos, ang hinihiling niya ay yung mabuhay tayo. Mabuhay tayo to the fullest. Mabuhay tayo according to His will. Mabuhay tayo ng puno ng pag-asa at ng maranasan yung pag-ibig niya. To be able to experience that great love that God has implanted within creation for us to experience and also be instruments of that love. Our gospel reading today talks about two beautiful stories. And I think it also points out to two important points, to two important experiences of redemption. Number one, the experience of the hemorrhaging woman. The hemorrhaging woman was practically going through a hopeless situation. Remember, she has gone through a lot of uh, means to heal her hemorrhage, and yet nobody was able to give an answer to whatever she was going through, the affliction that she was going through. And here you see Jesus becoming a source of healing. Here you see Jesus bringing back healing to her life. And perhaps it's not just about that healing of the hemorrhage that she was going through, but more than anything else, it was the healing from the anxiety, from the worry. It was healing from the pain, not only of the pain because of her sickness, but the pain of going through that entire ordeal of, uh, of suffering, of going through that entire experience of darkness because of the things that she had to go through because of the sickness. So in other words, being brought back to life through a redemptive act of healing. Kaya redemptive act of healing yung tawag natin dito kasi hindi lang yung sakit niya yung pinagaling kundi pati katauhan niya pinagaling. So it was also a healing of the heart and the soul. Not only a healing of the body, it was also a redemption from the dark experience that she was going through. The number two, the experience of Jairus, the daughter of Jairus, the little girl that was healed or revived by Jesus. Remember, this experience is also an experience of death, a death of someone so dear. And in this experience of death, Jesus acted as a life giver. Ito na experience na ito, hindi lang basta healing to redeem. In this sense, this healing was not so much all about simply an act of redemption, but it was an act of life-giving healing. So the Lord also acts as a life giver. The kind of redemption healing that is brought about by Jesus in the second point would be a healing that was life giving. So ikaw kapatid, anong klaseng healing ba ang kailangan mo? Lahat tayo, hinihiling natin ang kagalingan. Sa kahit na ano pa mang mga dinadala natin, anong mga dinaramdam natin, dinaramdaman niya ng kaluluwa, dinaramdaman niya ng puso, dinaramdaman niya ng ating pagkatao. So whether it's an affliction of the soul, of your heart, or of your body, the thing is, never fear to approach Jesus. And I think that is how we are all being led today by our readings. Our second reading today reminds us of how important it is to be attached to the Lord. So my dear friends, being attached to the Lord through our generosity, being attached to the Lord through our self-giving, I think this is how we go through this healing when we learn to go beyond ourselves. You see, nasabi nga dito sa story na second reading natin, nobody was lacking because everyone was giving. And I think this world will be a better place when we all learn to be givers and not simply hoarders or not simply people who seek to have and have. So my dear friends, ano mang kamatayan dinaraanan mo ngayon, never forget that this God, this loving God, cares for you. And if we need redemption, if we need to be resuscitated, there is always a God 
that we can approach. My dear friends, huwag kakalimutan lumapit sa Diyos na humihilom at nagpapagaling. At sa kanyang pagpapagaling, nagkakaloob ng bagong buhay. A healing that brings about redemption, a healing that brings about new life. Kaya ang kaibigan ko na dumaan sa napakaraming mga experiences na ito, nung siya'y nakausap ko, sabi niya, ako'y nagpapasalamat dahil sa kabila ng lahat ng nagawa ko, pinatunayan sa akin ng Diyos na handa niya ako muling iangat sa aking pagkalog mo. So my dear friends, don't be afraid to approach the Lord. Have hope. Have faith. It's a good day and it's a cool day. Be blessed and stay in love with the Lord. Bye.